Hello everyone and welcome to another Collections Showcase. So today we're going to be looking at several Dalek prototypes and we are going to go from left to right. So first up we have this Dalek here which is a Mechanus Dalek prototype, i.e. a prototype version of one of the more recent uh, character option exclusive Mechanus Daleks. Now, obviously, the first time I uh, saw this, this was one of the ones that was floating around on eBay for a while, and I was slightly sceptical about the fact that it had been completely spray-painted silver, or at least the one in the picture had been completely spray-painted silver, um, and in the past, and more recently, I had had um, reason to suspect that some of the prototypes that this particular seller had were not necessarily genuine. Um, so, you know, it, I'm always very careful about these sorts of things, but it wasn't that expensive, so I thought it was worth just biting the bullet and getting one, because even if it did arrive and it was just one that had been resprayed up, then, you know, it would have been great for, for spares and I could have made something else out of it once I'd stripped the silver paint off, but I was pleased to find out that it was indeed uh, real. So, most notably, the, um, the, the uh, differences on it are, there's a little bit of... Uh, paint uh, off the neck rings where you can see the bare plastic underneath, same with the globes here, uh, also the um, spheres that hold the ball joints in on the arms. The eye stalk itself is obviously clear, but the thing that really um, that really uh, sin uh, clinched it was the lights, and the lights themselves are, as you can see, clear. Now, I know a couple of other people who got these um, they, on their versions, the eyes were sprayed silver. When I got these, as you can see, they were clear. And um, in a way, it was kind of uh, fortuitous um, that this happened to somebody else as well. When it arrived, one of the uh, dome lights was, in fact, uh, it had snapped off. And I have since glued it back on. Um, you know, just because I, I didn't want to risk losing it. Normally I would try to keep these as, as, as in condition as I get them as I can, but every now and again there's just a few little um, fixes, simple fixes can be done. Um, and when I got this, I the underside of the, of the eye uh, obviously was the one bit that didn't have any spray on it because, especially around this eye, there's a little bit of silver paint on there. Um, and it was fortuitous that you could see that it was in fact, uh, you know, that it was in fact clear. And again, someone else who got one of these said that theirs had arrived with one of the eyes off. But again, luckily, uh, theirs was actually sprayed silver. But where it had broken off, you could see underneath that it was that it was indeed um, sprayed silver. Uh, that it was indeed uh, clear. Sorry. So it does uh, it does throw some of sort of validity to us. And the other the other thing as well is if we flip up the base. Um, normally on these bases you would have a stamp, a uh, serial number that's actually stamped into the base and obviously this one doesn't have that. Um, the wheels, as you can see here, the wheels here are black but then the wheels here are silver so it is like it has been uh, resprayed but you know it, it, it's, um, it's not uncommon for that to happen. Um, for them to do sort of test, you know, paints and, and things like that just to get it all one colour. Um, but like I said, the fact that it's got these bare pieces and, uh, you know, the lights themselves are clear rather than the red, it does sort of throw up some uh, validity to this, which is lovely. And it's a, it's a lovely piece to have, especially because the actual figure itself is a very limited edition. Next in line here, we have this uh, Necros Dalek prototype from... Uh, Revelation of the Daleks. I always get that confused with Resurrection, but yes, this is from Revelation of the Daleks. So again, it's, it, the, the differences on this are very subtle, so I might have to point them out. Um, but uh, firstly, foremostly, the spheres are gold rather than white. The eye stalk is actually a Resurrection eye stalk, as you can see. It's got the um, it's got the the tiered rings, as I call them, that go up. Um, the dome lights are the more um, cone-shaped uh, versions which are uh, smooth overall and again the most noticeable thing about this one that shows its validity if we flip it up you can see there is no stamp underneath um, again this has come from uh, a different seller to the other ones that I got but again it's somebody who I've bought from before many times they're the same person that I got my um, Captain Jack and uh, uh, painted Yana prototypes from, 
So, you know, I know this person very well. They've uh, always got a couple of uh, good things, and this is definitely one that uh, it's a it's a nice it's a nice one because it's it's nice to have one that is does just look like a normal Dalek, but again, it's just got those subtle differences which just make it stand out a little bit more from uh, from the other ones in the the other releases, as it were. Next up we have another classic Dalek, however this one you can see a few more of the bare details on this one. Um, obviously the eye stalk and the plunger are the same clear plastic. The uh, uh, neck rings, midsection, gun, uh, sphere holder, joint things and the two spheres on the side are obviously the bare plastic which you can see as well. It's slightly different, um, a difference in tone, but it, it is worth pointing out, I don't know whether this is captured on camera, but the um, uh, slats are in fact a silver moulded plastic rather than being sprayed. There is a difference between the two, but these are, whoops, these are just uh, a bare plastic and if we flip it up as well, you can again see that there is no uh, stamp um, anywhere on it. There's uh, obviously the usual copyright information, blah, 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 but there's no stamp or print or anything that would, uh, you know, mark it out as a, as a finished um, piece. It took me a little while, I have to say, to work out what or which set this Dalek is from, um, but through the combination of parts, I'm inclined to say that this is, assuming that it isn't a mismatch of different parts of a Dalek, which again, you know, it wouldn't be impossible for that to happen, but assuming this is a prototype for one of the B&M sets, which is why it would have been floating around more recently, I believe that this is most likely the uh, Black Supreme from the Chase set, or the Master Plan set, and I think it might be the Master Plan set. Either way, um, it's because of, specifically because of the dome, the combination of the dome light and the classic gun with the extra rings around it that just makes it stand out as, as, as the closest the closest approximation of combination of parts to that design, if that makes sense. Um, which again, you know, if that's the case, I mean, it's a nice piece to have either way, but if it's a, if it is a, you know, a prototype for a Supreme, always nice to have something that's, again, just that little bit different. And lastly here we have a little Diddy 375 Dalek. This is the Guard Dalek. Um, but there's a few interesting uh, differences on here. Um, the first thing is the gold is much brighter than I've seen on uh, other releases. And also the gold between the slats and the globes matches. Which again on other re or the released versions I know there is a tonal difference. At first I did actually think that this was a slightly darker more chocolate brown uh, for the like the assault Dalek but I think what it is is the bronze is the same color as the standard 375 Daleks but because the gold is brighter it makes the bronze look darker so the bronze hasn't changed it is in fact the gold um, next thing is that the eye stalk as you can see has no blue pupil on it uh, not impossible that that was just a simple factory error oversight something like that I know I have seen that on a couple of um, a couple of boxed, still mint in box ones uh, that that was missed off, so could be that they've missed that there, but it, it's just another of those little uh, things that uh, gives it that little bit more validity, I, I think, you know, that it's not been entirely finished. Uh, the next thing which is quite interesting is the gun, uh, the cannon or whatever you want to call it, has a white end to it, which as far as I'm aware the released ones didn't have, some of them may have done though. Um, because there is a promo picture of one of these 375 Daleks in which it has a white end. Uh, and so I don't think this is the same Dalek that's using the promo pictures first of all, because the one using the promo pictures has a has a blue iris for the eye. But it does make me wonder, maybe this was an idea that they thought to do and then they just decided actually it's, you know, it's one more bit of paint application, let's not bother, I don't know. Um, but it's interesting that that's on there. And lastly, if we turn this up, uh, once again, you can see there is no serial numbers under here. But there is a slight difference here for the 375 ones, which I just want to quickly go into. Uh, on the 375 ones, rather than stamp the serial number on there, they would usually print it, I think usually here. So I've seen it down there sometimes, but it's usually around here on the uh, wheelbase. 
And the thing with the 375 ones especially, um, with the five inch ones, uh, one of the, well, with any Daleks really, uh, when it comes to prototypes, I always ask to see the underside of the base because invariably what you can sometimes see on the five inch ones is where somebody's tried to file off the number that's been stamped in or fill it in and file it down. And even if it's been resprayed, you can still see the, um, the uh, scuff marks of where they've tried to sand it off or something. And the same can be said with uh, the 375 ones, but obviously it's a printed on stamp, um, which, you know, can be removed with uh, paint remover when I've um, done some 375 customs. Um, you know, I've, I've stripped off the bases, original colour, so I can uh, respray them. Uh, and it is possible. However, you do tend to get a bit of uh, discoloration. Uh, on the plastic then so it, it is again a noticeable thing you can see sometimes where it has been uh, it has been uh, taken off uh, you'll notice that there are the stains around it um, obviously the thing that then can be done is just simply respraying it um, but the other thing that you tend to find as well um, is again I've, I've tried this myself as a, as a, as a trial, I want to say as a trial method to see, um, to see what sort of resistance the paint has because again, I, over the years I've become very skeptical when it comes to buying prototypes and I really do sort of look very carefully at, at, at things before I buy them now because um, what I've found is even if the serial number is wiped off there would still be a slight imprint of letters um, and even if it is just resprayed the slight raised of the paint will still be there on the uh, letters and if you get right up close with a magnifying glass or a microscope you can actually still make out the letters or even if it's been wiped off bits of the letters or sometimes even discoloration through the plastic it isn't guaranteed I have to say but it is one of those things that I've learned to look out for. So a little helpful hint for anybody there who might come across any 375 um, prototype pieces. Always ask to see close-ups of the base and get a better look at them. Because whilst you can't guarantee that it is a um, that it is a, a, a definitive um, method of, of, of finding out a, whether a prototype is genuine or not, it is the small telltale signs to look out for. So there we have all of the Dalek prototypes for this piece. I have to say, of all of these, I think my favourite is the uh, Mechanist Dalek, simply because uh, you know it's already limited because it's a uh, character options exclusive. So to actually have a prototype version of that is uh, absolutely fantastic. It's definitely one that uh, is nice to have in my collection because it, it really is one of those ones that. Um, it does just stand out that little bit more. But that brings to a close another collections showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And be sure to click the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so. And funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you in another video very soon.